but it's detectable in the cell. That's what we're working towards here. All right, so we look at the next picture, and this is one of Tom's drawings, and it shows galloping velocity, harmonics, subharmonics, and wave pairs. That's from Whitaker, hmm. and that's 1904, I think. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, down underneath that is, is John Crane's generator that it that he used to sell now there it is right off the shelf folks. yeah right off the shelf there it eventually is. he put his own little nameplate on the front of it as i remember yes he did mm-hmm. yes he did and uh, a real a real important picture is the picture that's coming up with dr rife and Hoyland. that's quite a picture that is the actual uh bio ray machine that's uh dr rife's Ray machine, right? Yes, there. it is. And that's Hoyland pointing at the tube. Call it his beam ray machine. Yeah, that's a, That's right. That's the beam ray machine. And see all those dials? See these dials on the uh-huh. front? Uh-huh. Um, they're pretty clear in this picture, and I, I got this picture. I uh, had this picture left from making prints when I worked with Crane because mm-hmm. we reprinted all his pictures. See that little thing in the center above that center knob? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a seen eye tube. Hmm. That's I don't know if you've seen this on old radios. It's a it's a green looking tube and when you get the station it opens up or it closes. I see. I, I can look at it. I've got a um magnifying glass I can see it. So Yeah. Gotcha. It's one of those uh it's one of those indicator tubes that told the signal level. <laughs> so Wow. So I think they were using this basically to get a tune on certain frequencies. I see. I see. And, of course, then there's a milliamp meter. So when it was solid, whatever it was, green, yeah. red, or whatever, then the frequency was achieved. Right. Now, this is remarkable because this is in the early 30s. This is no computers, no... Remember, Rife did all this work in his lab with no computers, right. no television, he just, his mind. Yeah, just nobody to talk to at night. No, no. Just so, um, so then, uh, of course, if you go down a little bit, then we'll come back to uh, some of these things, because we want to get into the real important part about how these actually, actually, the potential in the machine actually explodes these things. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, you can see John Crane sitting in the next two pictures. Here he's explaining Rife, but see the the paper that he's holding there. Right. Doctor Doctor Strecker gave him this paper, and that's the AIDS virus. Right there. That's Strecker's drawing of uh, HIV. No, that's Strecker got this paper uh-huh. from the university or something, uh-huh. and they actually diagram the AIDS virus and see. I've That's seen why that Crane's picture. holding that up. Yeah, it's round, as I remember it. Yeah, it's right there. It's yeah. round. You can make it out a little bit. There. I had it on the cover of my book, come to think of it. Yeah. <laughs> and, it and it was almost like a schematical drawing. Did you remember that? Mm-hmm. And then, of course, there's John Crane in a silent moment. And, th- and then coming up... He's thinking about all that money he owes. <laughs> well, <laughs> John Crane had his good points, Jeff. He... Uh, yeah, you can see here, if you just go down a little bit, go down like halfway, or just a little bit before halfway. Mm-hmm. This was John Crane's diploma. A trade certificate? That's it. Mm-hmm. That's exactly who he was. Mm-hmm. And that's a card mm-hmm. that was left over that we made a, a copy of. Mm-hmm. And that's what he gave us when he came to work for us. Mm-hmm. See, it says right there, John Crane Certificate, 1942. How how smart a man. Obviously, he was intelligent. Oh, yeah. Was he, was he a Class A research scientist, a Class no. B research scientist, a, kind of a journeyman research scientist? Well, he was, um, he was more or less a C at that mm-hmm. and an A at industrial drawing. Got it. And putting things together, I mean, it, you couldn't beat him. You know, when 
I, I don't care who you put on the drafting table, John Crane beat them. Right. You know, he'd work them to death. They just couldn't keep up with him. And this guy's 70-some years old. Mm-hmm. So John Crane could conceive things in his mind and put them right to paper and then go build it. That's how incredible he was. But whether it worked or not, Jeff, was a different story, but you don't know until you do it. Got it. Well, interesting stuff. Okay, coming back after the top of the hour break, our third hour with John Bedini tonight, he's going to explain how Rife's technology was able to destroy viruses and bacteria and other sub-microscopic organisms as we continue. Science is John Bedini. We're talking about Royal Rife. Okay, John, let's go right ahead with the, okay, so, uh, the journey tonight. Fascinating. <laughs> it's a fascinating journey. Um, so if we go down to the yellow writing right underneath uh, John John Crane's pictures, uh huh. we'll just do a little recap here. Um, I told you about the front yard. I told you about the house. And right here I put it in print. To walk through John Crane's house was to walk through some kind of maze. Mm -hmm. Boxes everywhere. Mm -hmm. Things piled on tables. A half inch thick in some areas, rooms, and so so on and so on here. Mm -hmm. The important thing is the second paragraph there. The John Crane was the true mentor of Rice. He actually believed that he knew all this stuff. And he could quote it. I mean, he could tell you, you know, X and Y. Mm-hmm. But Z was always left out. Mm-hmm. So the thing that the, the, the thing about this is that right here, John Crane was the true mentor of Rife. He understood everything Rife understood because Rife trained him. Well, I don't know because he said Rife trained him. But yet, when it came to the lab, you know, the work and what Strecker was trying to do, mm-hmm. it it just didn't work out. But that's not that he didn't know. It's what he knew at that time. So to quote Crane precisely, Rife told me the secret to the machine, and I know how to build it. So we know Crane understood that the simple square wave generator would not cure anything. I got Crane to admit this to me when one day I asked him, why are you selling these simple square wave generators? Mm -hmm. Crane responded by saying, it works on some people, and that's good enough. And it's 